SMT Nation, we back. Speed testing here for you today. We're at the Aldi's parking lot in Lakewood, Ohio. And I'm testing the world's most incredible cellular technology, Millimeter Wave. I absolutely love it. I think it is the future of networking. I think it is an instant cheat code for capacity. And it is the goat of all connections. Meaning, if you got to connect to anything, this is the best thing to connect to. It's, it's not as available. There's limitations. I get it all but it is absolutely incredible and stunning to see what it can do. All right, so we're testing Verizon. They're really the only company that's doing a substantial millimeter wave build. We're comparing the iPhone to, well, I should say the iPhone 14 Pro Max to the Google Pixel 7 Pro, all right? And you will see that the iPhone offers more capacity and throughput off the first test, all right? So comparatively, uh, you know, they're competitive. I'm So I'm kind of sort of looking at the technology and then, also comparing it, you know, with these two phones. Uh, so here, you know, you're looking at the speed difference, more capacity on the iPhone. All right, let's go ahead and set these phones down and see if it makes a difference. All right, 3.8 gigs per second down for the iPhone, 238 on the uplink with a 21 ping. All right, previously, the iPhone was a little faster than the Google phone. So let's see if setting it down, stabilizing the connection might make a difference. And you will see that it does. Okay, so here's the Google phone picking up some speed 3.459 gigabits per second gigabit speed folks 279 on the up with an 18 or 19 ping for jitter that's pretty comparable it's pretty close you can make the argument that that little bit of capacity difference is not that meaningful in a mobile connection and i would agree but we got to call a spade a spade here so let's test it again 3.8 gigabits per second on the downlink 284 megs per second on the uplink on the Google phone. So you will see when you kind of test them thoroughly, they're very comparable, right? There's not much of a difference between the newest and best version of the iPhone and the newest and best version of the Google phone. A lot of people talking down, blowing down on the Google Tensor chip and the modem, but throughput wise, it's comparable, right? Here's 3.8 gigs down and 213 up on the iPhone. You see what I'm saying? I I don't have favoritism for performances. I try to be objective when I evaluate, but it looks competitive, right? Maybe you could say that the iPhone is a little bit more consistent in picking up the signal and holding it, but when it comes to raw throughput, they are competitive, all right? Uh, let's run the two at the same time and see if there's a difference. I do see a difference. <laughs> the Google Pixel came in at 1.5 on the downlink, 1.5 gigs per second. Just think about that, right? Uh, 205 on the uplink and then for the iPhone a little bit slower folks all right so when they're challenging each other for throughput the the pixel just seems to be connecting to the server faster I mean I'm testing at the same time but I think because it's connecting quicker it's kind of getting a priority to the connection all right so I'm gonna go ahead and run it again same situation you'll see that I ran them at the same time this one a little bit more equal I would say all right, so 720 down for the Pixel, around the 200 range for the uplink. The iPhone went in over a gig, 1.1 gigs per second on the downlink, and then eight on the uplink. Uh, really unusual, all right? I, I don't typically run tests at the same time on two devices, but I just wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. Uh, there is a very clear distinction there in the uplink for sure. Uh, what do you guys think of this testing? Like, what did you think about the simultaneous testing? All right, there clearly is a difference there. Uh, what do you think about the Google's performance, the Google phone? A lot of people down on the Tensor chip. I'm kind of liking it so far. I think it's an improvement over last year. I also think it's competitive with the iPhone, right? The iPhone often considered to be the gold standard of smartphones, but here we see a very competitive, you know, showing from Google. Right, and there's a huge cost difference, folks. My iPhone, you know, when, when you think about a 14 Pro Max, they they come in at $1,100. You start upgrading storages and stuff, you could change the price, but the uh, Google phone comes in at $899. Right, so there's not much of a cellular difference, in my opinion. They seem to be very competitive. Comment down below on the performance what you guys think about it. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links are in the description for my Patreon page if you want to get more access, exclusive content not found anywhere else. 
you can do that. There's a link in the description. Also, if you want to keep it all on the same platform, you can hit the join button and become a member on the YouTube side and get similar access. Thanks for those considerations. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Peace.